If you are an avid gamer during 1990s and the early 2000s, you have probably heard a game franchise called Command and Conquer or CNC. But if you're not, CNC is probably considered as one of the most popular games at that time. However, as we are in the age of mobile and connected gaming, CNC lost its relevance and the current future of the franchise is unknown. Today, I will like to transverse you back to the history to introduce you one of the most popular game franchises in the world during the era of 1990s to 2000s. The Command and Conquer. CNC is a real time strategy game franchise except one sequel, Renegade, developed by Wastewood Studio and first released in 1995. At this stage, you probably ask what's the real time strategy games? Real time strategy games at very weight at RTS is a game Chong, which Dan Erdem from IGN described as a military game that includes strategies with elements of base buildings and resource management with real time settings. In other words, it is a game that you have to manage and plan your strategy to win with limited available resources and time. Very economic terms indeed. One of the very first games in this category, CNC considered as one of the most popular RTS with over 30 million copies of the game's franchise sold worldwide as of 2012. For their first release, later known as Tiberian Dawn, draw on fictional stories about two factions' conflict on dealing with Tiberium and alien materials that are known to humankind. After this successful initial release, they introduced Red Alert series in 1996, which based on fictional conflict between Allied West and Soviet Union's very cold war indeed. At this point, they have two series, Tiberian and Red Alert. Each of them has had their own follow-up. For Tiberians, they released Soul Survivor in 1999, which you have to play as a single unit. Your goal is to improve it. In 1999 as well, they released Tiberian Sun, which continued the story of the Tiberian Dawn. They also released the only one first-person shooter games in 2002, Renegade. You have to play as a soldier in the field for Red Alert. They released the Red Alert 2 in 2000, which still continues the story of Soviet and Allied West conflict. In the year 2002, Electronic Arts took over the studio. After a year, they introduced General Series. It draws from fictional conflict between US, China, and the fictional terrorist group. It is the first time that CNC become a full three-dimensional game. In 2007, they introduced CNC 3 Tiberium War, which still based on original stories of Tiberium series with additional faction. After a year of CNC 3, they released Red Alert 3, which adds a new faction, the Empire of the Rising Sun, to the story. All of these games based on the same presentations as General's series, full 3D experience. In 2010, they have introduced CNC4 Tiberian Twilight before shift to make a free-to-play web-based game, Tiberium Alliances. In 2012, EA announced that they will release General 2, later simply known as Command and Conquer, as a sequel for General series as a multiplayer online game but they decided to cancel in 2013, and nothing ever since. Each of the major releases, Westwood and EA usually release expansion packs later on, which give new units or more intense stories. Why CNC game was very successful? Apart from Chong, it is one of the early RTS offered online multi multiplayer via network, such as local area or through the internet. If you decided to play alone, skirmish mode is always there. You have to compete with computers. In addition, Red Alert and Generals have stories which are based on real history. Red Alert, for example, draws history from World War II. Generals draw history from terrorist crackdown and world politics. However, this success of CNC is quickly faded by the popularity of casual gaming on mobile devices. While EAS tried to bring the CNC experience to the mobile gaming in 2009 for iOS platforms, it's when it eventually failed due to its seriousness and lack of interoperability of the game itself. At this point, it seems the CNC was born for the PC platforms rather than mobile devices. With the uncertain future, particularly after EA disbanded the studio that creates the CNC, I have no idea whether the CNC franchise would die or not. But their red legacy as one of the most popular RTS still exists and is the hallmark of the RTS Chong that we will never forget.